Okay, so I got another little video here of the game I'm working on and stuff. It's pretty much going to be for a while. It's going to be a lot of videos with this one. But um, I got uh, more keyboard actions working. I've started working on uh, mouse input. Um, you won't be able to see anything on the screen, but if you pay attention down here to the console, I left click, it'll tell me what mouse I've clicked. It also keeps track of where the mouse is. That isn't displayed in console. Um, it also keeps track of a few other things. So I actually go to the code here real quick. Uh, code's really simple. I thought this was going to be hard because um, if you actually go do, say, like GUI work in Java with like AWT or like Java FX, it's a little bit harder than what this is. Uh, not by a huge amount. Both of them use basically call events. This is a call event here. Um, so we've got one that keeps track of the X and Y. We've got one that keeps track of essentially um, our mouse click. And then we got one that keeps track of if we are in or out of the window. So if we actually leave the window, it will tell us when we leave. Um, I can actually put a call back on this one real quick and we can see what it's doing. So if we do put it here. Um, cursor entered. And then entered. I'm actually figuring out all this as I go. There's some really nice tools I found. Um, basically, I, I ran across uh, this. Well, it's actually not on this one. This is I'm actually looking around in his code real quick. He's trying to figure out if he had any good examples of controls and stuff. Um, he's got some kind of little pong game here, which is kind of cool. I've been reading through his code. But if we can go back a couple bits here. My search history is large. But here, he's got a little thing explaining all the different controls here and telling how to get access to each one, how to do text input, how to do clipboard, mouse, there's even drag events. There's a little bit of everything in there and I'm gonna try to implement each piece of it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with drag events. Maybe you can like drag a save file in there or a map or something and it'll pre-move it to your folder. But uh, we'll put this in here. Um, we'll close the game down real quick. And we'll hit uh, debug so I can actually be debugging while we're playing. As you can tell from the last, the last few, I've got a texture map going on here, um, or I got a I got a map going on. This is actual map data. It works very similar to Minecraft, because after all, I'm used to Minecraft, so therefore, I'm going to code map systems the same. Um, this uses a chunk-like system. They're 16 by 16, just like Minecraft's. Um, I'm not doing that to copy Minecraft. I'm actually doing that just because I'm familiar with it. Uh, but I call my chunks sections, and then I layer my sections into grids, and then there can be... There's only one grid per layer, because I don't see the maps getting large enough for me to use multiple grids. But there is a Y-level system, so there is, there's a grid per uh, Y-level. Um, so if you go up a floor, there's another grid above that, there's a floor a grid above that. That'll come in handy when we start to implement buildings here, so you can go in and out of buildings, and there'll be multiple floors of the building you'll be able to get in and out of. Um, not sure how I'm going to render that. I need to do some kind of ghost system so you can actually see through the building so you can see your guys, but haven't figured that one out yet. Right now, what I've been working on is, uh, well, one, let's do the mouse cursor. Yeah, if you see exit, enter, exit, enter, I actually keep track of that for a reason because I don't want to have issues where, um, when you leave, you're not getting, you're still getting cursor events. Like if I go factorial, Factorio has a really bad issue where if I actually will downscreen it and leave it behind stuff, it'll still think my cursor is actually on the window. Um, not sure what they're using to make their game, but I don't know if they fixed it yet. I know it was an issue. We're keeping track of that. We got that. But what I've been working on the last couple minutes here, um, I'm working on zoom in and out stuff. So I'm focusing on render code at the moment because rendering is one of the biggest things I need to get done because that's one of my weakest parts of making games. But Working on zooming, uh, I can scale these. Um, keyboard controls are a little sluggish because I've got it delayed so that way you can only zoom in once a second. Um, I need to do a little better controls, but you can zoom into twice the size and then you can zoom out to half the size if, if it'll finally catch up with me. Oh, come on. I got some uh, bug fixing to do. Yeah, um, issues still left to do. But the idea with the zooming is that I can scale stuff up and down and you can get a better picture. And when I get that done, I'm going to work on the map editor, which is the reason why I did mouse events so early, is I want to get a map editor so I can sit there and edit the maps so I can see how those are working. And then after that, I'm going to work on controls to move left and right, so panning the map. And then a few other things past that. But that's uh, the end of this video here. So.